And speaking of weapons, two Western nations are vying for India's attention, Germany and Spain. They're eager to sell submarines to India. New Delhi plans to buy six submarines. It'll be a contract worth $4.8 billion. And who are these contenders? The first bid came from Germany, from a company called Tusun Krupp AG. And their Indian partner is Mazagaon Dock Shipbuilders. They're based in Mumbai. The second bid is from Spain. Their company is called Nevantia. They have a partnership with Larsen and Tubro. So which way is New Delhi leaning? Well, it's too early to say India is weighing its options. It has spelled out its requirements. On top of India's wish list is technology transfer. India wants the maximum possible transfer. So it comes down to the bidders, really. Whoever puts the best deal on the table and offers the biggest tech transfer will walk away with the deal. And what kind of submarines are these? These are conventional subs. Usually, these are run on diesel. They have electric motors. They're different from nuclear submarines, nuclear-powered submarines. They cannot stay submerged for long. They need to resurface quickly to refuel. Nuclear-powered submarines can stay underwater for longer periods because they can refuel with nuclear power. It's not an option with conventional subs. But they do have other, other benefits, their own benefits. Conventional submarines are small. They can carry ballistic missiles, even nuclear warheads. And they're cheaper to maintain. All major navies in the world have conventional submarines. In fact, most of their fleet is made up of such subs, so it makes sense for India to invest in them too. The Indian Navy has a roadmap for this. India needs a fleet of 24 submarines. 18 will be conventional, 6 will be nuclear ones. And what do we have right now? As of December last year, India had a total of 16 submarines, all but one conventional. So 15 conventional and one nuclear submarine. It's called Arihant. Now, most of this fleet is aging. They will go out of service in a few years. Many of them are more than 30 years old. So they're likely to be decommissioned soon. The Navy is planning to upgrade and, and push for upgrades across the board, in fact. For the conventional subs, India wants them equipped with a different technology. It's called air-independent propulsion. What does it do? It improves endurance of the submarine. It also helps them stay underwater for longer. The machines that don't have the system must surface daily. This technology enables them to spend up to one week underwater at a stretch. Earlier this year, India signed a deal. It was with France. This was to upgrade existing submarines. They're all getting the air independent propulsion system. The system will be built in India and France will help in its integration. As for the nuclear submarine, Aryanth, it is based on a Soviet design and it has some issues too. A report came out in 2019. It said the maiden deterrent patrol of this submarine lasted just 20 days. Experts say there are endurance issues too. Nuclear submarines are designed to stay underwater for much longer than this, sometimes months, even years if needed. They run on a nuclear reactor, so they get uninterrupted power supply. The only limitation, perhaps, is the supplies, the food and water for the crew. That needs to be replenished. The Indian sub seems to have been found wanting on these counts. So India is talking to France for an upgrade. He told you about this last month when Prime Minister Modi visited Paris. There was talk of a possible deal, but no announcement has been made yet. Reports say the agreement is yet to be sealed. The negotiations are still on. The European powers need the Indian defence market. But India too needs these deals to be able to maintain an optimal level of deterrence. The present fleet is not good enough. Like I said, India has 16 subs. Do you know how many China has? 66. And they're building more. What about Pakistan? Their navy has eight submarines. All of them are conventional ones. Rawalpindi 2 is pushing for modernization. It is said to be getting eight new subs from China. We don't know who's going to pay for them. But we can see that the high seas could be the next battleground. The Indian navy will need more firepower. And submarines are a good place to start.